A small crew of people, clad in gumboots, armed with fishing nets of various shapes and sizes, and toting green pails, trudge off into the wilderness just north of Nanaimo on a hot summer day. Even the very young follow in the footsteps of their parents and traipse down through a wooded and winding path to try their hand at helping some tiny creatures survive the drought-like conditions affecting our creeks and streams this summer. Well, my mom and my dad used to bring me here when I was just little. We used to have lots of fun. Now my baby sister is coming here as well. They are the Nanu Streamkeepers Society dedicated to the protection of wild salmon streams within the watersheds of Nanus Bay and the surrounding area. What we've got to do is, is keep the net flat and keep the fish on Their main summer activity is rescuing wild salmon fry, mainly coho, that have become stranded in isolated pools along streams that are drying up like Bonnell Creek. So we come out for two, three, four hours on a morning do what we can around the watershed, um, planting trees as you saw earlier. Um, in our summer activity, our main one is fry salvage. You know? Fry salvage um, involves, when the creeks begin to dry up, we get a lot of coal because as I said, they spend a year in the creek. They congregate in smaller and smaller pools. And if we didn't, they'd become food for Mr. Raccoon, Mr. Water Ouzo, et cetera, et cetera. So we go along and we, catch them with nets, put them in buckets in a tank, and transport them to year-round wetted habitat. Otherwise, we'd be losing, you know, those 10 to 15,000 fry every year. Okay, Thomas, just pour in gently, bring it right into the water. Since 1999, when we got started, we've saved 143,555 as of last year. We're still counting this year. So it, uh, yeah. So, uh, and there's about, I guess about pretty close to 100 trout. And they range from anything from about that big to a full 30 centimeters. So it's, uh, and we get scalpins and we get sticklebacks and all the rest of it. And we put them in the ponds or wherever we're putting the fish. The Nanu Streamkeepers began salvaging fish two months earlier than usual this year due to the extremely dry conditions. Coho salmon. This diverse group of people gets together every Tuesday and Saturday morning year-round to lend a hand to Mother Nature. Get a bucket for you, right there. I think it's really fun. It helps the environment. It's, you get to know people around here. It's all about stewarding the forest and looking after what we have as nature, we call nature today. I have learned a lot more than some of my friends in my school. Well, I belong to the Fish and Game Club. Uh, Parksville Qualicum and Fishing Game, there it is. I was uh, in their patchery program and uh, began to realize that putting brothers and sisters together to make fish is really not a good idea. And us humans don't know the difference. So uh, I decided I would join Stream Keepers right at the beginning it's, uh, with the wild fish. And I think if we connect more with nature, like we have with the guys here, we get more to care for it and we're more gentle with nature and we tend to look after it better, because without it, we ain't going to survive neither. For Go, on Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.